When is white not white? When it's blue, yellow, or orange, of course. What the crap am I talking about? Beats the heck out of me, so stick around and we'll both find out everything you need to understand about white balance. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Pro Photo Tips with me, Josh Cripps. Ask a random photographer about white balance and you'll probably get an answer like this. Oh, that's uh, something to do with the color in the camera, I think. Let me see if Margie knows. Hey Margie, do you know about this white balance thing this guy's asking? Or this. Well now, partner, just hit that little buckaroo to auto. You can always change it in post. But what the heck is it? Well, let me ask you a question. Here we have a sheet of ordinary white paper. What color is it? Uh, how about now? And how about now? If you answered, uh, it's white? You're right. Well, sort of. What we perceive as color is actually light of a specific wavelength entering our eyeballs. Now, white is amazing because it reflects all wavelengths of light. So, if you shine green light on this paper, it'll look green. And if you shine purple light on this paper, it'll look purple. This is important because in different conditions and lighting situations, different colors of light dominate. For example, shady light is a little bit blue, whereas sunny light has a yellow tint. And indoor incandescent lighting is downright orange. And for this white piece of paper, that means it's actually almost never white, but rather blue, yellow, or orange. Now, your eye and brain are so good at tuning out those minor color shifts that you never even notice them, which is why a white piece of paper always looks white to you. But a camera can only record the actual wavelengths of light hitting its sensor. So, for this white piece of paper reflecting bluish shady light, it'll actually look blue in a photo. And that's where white balance comes in. White balance is how your camera compensates for those small color shifts. So if you're shooting in this cool shady light, turn your white balance to shady and your camera will add warmth and amber tones to the image to offset that blueness. Or if you're shooting in the sun, the camera will add cool blue tones to the image in order to counteract the yellowness of the light. So that white stays white. And that's all there is to white balance. Or is it? Because what happens when you don't want white to be white? Or more to the point, what if you want to emphasize certain colors in your image over other colors? I mean, are we here to document the universe exactly how it is? Or are we here to create art? So knowing what white balance is and what it does, say you're shooting a scene that has lots of beautiful warm tones. Well, you can emphasize those tones by deliberately choosing a white balance that you know will warm up the image, like cloudy or shady. Or say you're shooting a glacier and you want to bring out its blueness. Well, then a cool white balance, like daylight, will really help make the colors pop. When selecting a white balance, you can either use those presets like shady or daylight, or you can use something called the Kelvin scale, which on your camera runs from about 2500K, which will make your images very cool, all the way up to about 10,000K, which will make your images very, very warm. The presets are best for making a quick selection, whereas the Kelvin scale is great for fine-tuning things. So experiment with both and see which one you like. In either case, you've got a fantastic tool to enhance the colors you want to enhance and embiggen your creativity in the process. And one final note, I always recommend changing your white balance in the field while shooting rather than thinking, ah, I'll just change it when I get home. Why? Because when you change the colors you see, you'll often see the scene in a different way. And that can mean changing your composition and getting a shot you otherwise wouldn't have. That's easy to do when you're in the field, but once you get home, it's too late. So work your white balance and let those colors fly. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to receive more helpful tips and check out these other videos to learn about other camera functions like aperture and shutter speed. You can also check out my website, joshuacrips.com, for landscape photography, Photoshop tutorials, on-location photo workshops, and more. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.